Everybody knows about Michael Jackson's record-breaking performance at the 1984 Grammys. Michael won a Fantastic Eight Awards. But did you know Michael was nominated and lost out another four times at the same award show? That's too bad, isn't it? I guess I have to try harder next time. But this was the year when Thriller became the biggest selling album of all time. Who could have possibly beaten Michael? Let's take a look at the 1984 Grammy Awards and the battle between Michael Jackson and Sting. Song of the Year Michael was nominated for this award twice with Billie Jean and Beat It, two of his biggest and most well-known songs. Also nominated were all-time classics, Maniac, by Michael Cimbello and Dennis Matkoski. All Night Long, by Lionel Richie, and Every Breath You Take, by Sting. But who would be the winner? Surely Michael, with two nominations for the one award. This was his year. Every right? Neither the amazing Billie Jean nor Beat It could stop Sting and Every Breath You Take from winning Song of the Year. For Record of the Year, the nominations were the same, except Billie Jean was out and Maniac from the movie Flashdance was in. And once again, Michael was up against Sting's classic, Every Breath You Take. Where a Song of the Year is awarded for the songwriting, Record of the Year is awarded for the performance. So who would take it? Sting with his whispery vocal and Andy Summers' Bela Bartok inspired signature guitar lick? Or Michael with his famous high tenor vocal, a classic guitar riff and Eddie Van Halen's amazing solo? Yes, Record of the Year is... Beat it, Michael Jackson! So Michael beat Sting on this one, but it ain't over yet. Let's take a look at Album of the Year next and see what's going on there. Although record-breaking, the Grammys were no walk in the park for Michael. For Album of the Year, he was up against some of the greatest artists and albums of all time. Bowie with Let's Dance, featuring the title track, China Girl and Modern Love. There was Innocent Man by Billy Joel, containing tracks, Uptown Girl, and Tell Her About It. There was the Flashdance album, containing, once again, Maniac and What a Feeling. And as it would transpire, once again, Michael Jackson and Sting, with his band, The Police, would be amongst the nominations. Again, two of the biggest stars and biggest albums of all time. Thriller with Billie Jean, Beat It in the title track. Synchronicity with King of Pain, Wrapped Around Your Finger and Every Breath You Take. But there could be only one winner. It was of course the biggest selling album of all time. Unlucky Sting, for the next award Michael teamed up with, yep, one of the Beatles, Paul McCartney to compete with some of the biggest acts on the planet. Kenny and Dolly, Austin and Ingram, Culture Club, and the Knight's Nemesis, Sting and the Police. Two of the biggest names in the history of music versus one of the most celebrated bands. There could be only one winner. It was Every Breath You Take By, Sting, and The Police. What's the problem? Come on, I'll take you home. That was the story of Michael and Sting at the Grammys.